Everyday Artisan. I'm Jackie and today I would like to share my dollhouse with you. Making this little dollhouse was the beginning of my conscious recognition that handwork supported my well-being. It was created at a time in my life where I was feeling kind of lost in a failure at a number of my roles. The details don't really matter and I fully recommend and support professional, personal, direct, mental and health care when depression and other mental illness is present. In this situation, I woke up one day knowing I needed to do something. I was inspired by an old dollhouse magazine sitting on my bookshelf and I thought to myself, maybe, you know, a dollhouse could be a bit of a diversion right now. So I ordered the kit off of eBay, used secondhand for like $17. And even before I had it, I found myself engrossed in imagination and creation in every spare and stolen moment I could get my hands on. After a time, I felt such pleasure over these small achievements, and I mean tiny achievements, that it started to spill over into other parts of my life. And then one day I realized, oh, I haven't worked on or even thought about the dollhouse in a couple days. Another day passed and another day passed and weeks passed and I realized I had moved onward out of that period of my life. The dollhouse sat on my dining room break front until one day a friend having dinner over our house one evening asked me about it and I kind of chuckled and I said, oh, that's my cheaper than therapy dollhouse. I still love this little house. It reminds me that even though there are times where I might feel a little lost or like a failure that this too shall pass, keep myself busy, find pleasures in the small things. And today I'd like to share with you a refurbishing of a tiny wooden chest that I found at a garage sale. Enjoy.
Thank you.